Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now you can pick this one up from samsung.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 1,380 bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, Motorola has left the chat. Now this is available in four different colors. You got mirror black, mirror purple, mirror gold, and the limited edition Thom Brown colorway. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED Infinity Flex display with a resolution of 2636 by 1080. Now that's 425 for the PPI Patrol. And on the side note, it features UTG, ultra thin glass, not plastic, glass. Now for the secondary display, you got a 1.1 inch Super AMOLED panel with a resolution of 300 by 112. Now that's 303 for y'all PPI savages. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus with the Adreno 640 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now it's running Android 10 with the Samsung One UI 2 skin on top. You got eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. For the battery, it's 3,300 milliamps that features 15 watt fast charging and wireless charging. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 12 megapixel f1.8 lens, and you also got another 12 megapixel f2.2, that's your ultra wide angle lens. On the front, you got a 10 megapixel f2.4. Now it also features Bluetooth 5.0, you got NFC, USB type C charging, you got a fingerprint sensor, face unlock, wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging. All of that for 1,380 bucks, what's missing? No IP rating, so it's not water resistant, no dual speakers, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Here we go. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now, on a side note, I pre-ordered one. It should come next week. So this is just going to be an unboxing, a quick first look. And when I do my real review, I'll have a retail version and we'll tear it apart from top to bottom. Okay, so we got a nice black box. Giggity. Flip. All right, so you got Z on the outside. Flip on the inside. Let's open this up. Okay, plug it and file it. This is going to be your device. Let's see. Uh, now, I'm going to do this gently. <laughs> Since I got to get this one back. We're not going to go into beast mode. Two-part plastic on this. All right, semi-beast mode. Semi-beast mode. Okay, nice weight. Here's your 15 watt fast charging brick. Okay, this is gonna be your OTG. I will leave everything as is. This is gonna be USB Type-C charging cable, and of course, some AKG headphones. Now I'll show y'all what these look like real quick. These are definitely dope. AKG branding. Okay, you got your semi-braided cable, and you got your controls. Volume up and down, play and pause. Nice quality headphones, different size air tips. Y'all know the drill. Now, for the phone itself, let's uh, get some power on this. If you notice, your fingerprint sensor is actually on the side. Okay, let's see, uh, where's that power button at? <laughs> let's see, okay, the phone is trolling me. <laughs> All right, hold on a second, let me power this up. Okay, my bad, <laughs> the phone was trolling. The power button is actually built into the fingerprint sensor which is a little bit different from your Galaxy Fold. All right, you see you got your fingerprint sensor on the side, but you still have a dedicated power button and volume up and down. All right, so we'll get used to having the power button built into the fingerprint sensor. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. Let me help you get set up more easily. Big, beautiful display. This is your front-facing camera. Let's get a little wipe down. Bang! Now, this is a Fold. Right, this is a Fold right here. This phone actually features a mode called Flex Mode. Now, y'all know I be saying Flex all the time. They actually threw this into the phone, Flex Mode. And this is how it works. You leave your phone like this, and you're in Flex Mode. I didn't make that up. Now, let's try the one-hand open test real quick. Woo! <laughs> hold up, hold up, let me do that again. Oh, this is really satisfying. Let me pull out that razor one time. Now, this has a better flip than a razor. Let me show y'all quick side by side. Did you out of display? Okay. 
Now, remember, when I did the full review for the Razer, one of the things that I was griping about is that plastic feel on the back. For 1600 bucks, this phone just kind of feels cheap. With the Galaxy, the Z Flip, glass on the back, glass on the front. It's actually Gorilla Glass 6. Just having that glass back, I know it might seem like I'm making a big deal, but just having the glass back just makes this feel a lot more premium. Holding a razor in your hand, yeah, it feels nice, but it feels cheap on the back. This has that nice premium feel to it, and a one hand flex, no notch. I right, got a little pinhole camera. Let's see anything else, volume up and down, USB Type-C, speaker grill, mic on the top, dual speakers on the back, there's your flash. Let's get the little plastic out of there. Let's get one more wipe down so you can see the mirror black. Bang! This is what I'm talking about. Now this is a flex right here. All right, this is a flex phone. Let's try one more thing. Now look, when you're buying a flex phone, it's important to be able to open it with one hand. If you gotta keep going like this, and like this, that's gonna kill your vibe. You wanna have your phone on the table, you wanna pick it up, and check it like that. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video, let me drop all my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, on a scale of one to 10, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip is a major, major, major go. I'm already in love with this phone, and it's gonna be in my pocket every day. Now look, I know the main question, everybody wants to know, which one do I like better, the Z Flip, or the Motorola Razr. And honestly, the Z Flip kills the Razr in every single department, except for one thing. There's only one thing that the Razr could do better, and that's the secondary display. It's a lot bigger, and you see more information. Other than that, this is 1600 bucks versus 1500 bucks, so the Z Flip is cheaper. The Z Flip has a better battery, better camera, better processor, better display, better build quality, more features, better speakers. You get what I'm saying? Everything, all right? Everything is better on the Z Flip at a cheaper price tag. So it's officially RIP for the Razer. Let's break this down. First up, build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells like 100% flex, right? This is the new flex phone right here. Of course, the big boy is still a champ, right? The big boy is still a champ, but this is number two on my flex list. Now, opening and closing your phone. You can easily do this with one hand, all right? Nice flip on this, and you can close it back with one hand. That's so important for me. All right, that's one of the things that I don't like about the big boy. You literally gotta open this with two hands. All right, so no matter what you're doing, you're gonna need two hands. You gotta drink in one hand at the bar. You can't really flex too much. You gotta put the drink down, open up your phone. With the Z Flip, all right, you got your shot of Hennessy in one hand. You wanna take a quick picture for the gram? Pop it open, do your thing. This is so sick. The feeling of this in your hand, you're gonna love it. Glass on the back, glass on the front. Nice heavyweight, gives it that premium feel to it. You got your hideaway hinge in the back. Right, it's gonna keep all that dust and debris out. Oh, I'm feeling this. Right, I'm feeling the build quality so much on this one. No case rocking this raw dog. Now, check this out. Wireless charge in the building. Check this out. Always on display in the building. So far, a lot of the things that I was griping about the Razer, we already got it covered on the Z Flip. So you can wireless charge with it open or closed. Now, before we open up the phone, let's talk about the secondary display. Let's get a little wipe down. Look at that mirror black. Woo! Feeling this. All right, secondary display. You tap on this, you got the time, you got the date, and you got your battery percentage. Now, if I swipe over, I can take it over to settings, I got different notifications. I took a screenshot, open up the device, see all your information. Now, while it's closed, if you want a quick access to your camera, you double tap your power button, and there's your camera. Now, you swipe over, and you got wide angle. So far, y'all just heard me mention 
Three of the things that I didn't like about the Razer, no wide angle lens camera, no always on display, no wireless charge, no glass back. All of those issues are already being fixed with the Razer, uh, with, with the Z Flip. Now, if you want to take a picture, you can use your volume rockers or you can use your hand. Now I got the timer set. Five seconds. Bon, there's my picture. So the secondary display, it's a little bit on the small side, but it is functional. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. I right, hold up, y'all see that flip? Y'all see that flip? Hold up. Bon. If you want, you can use your fingerprint sensor on the side, which works flawlessly. You can also swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. Then you also got face unlock. Bang, now look at that face unlock. I'm gonna press the button, I'm not looking at it. Now watch when I look at it. Just caught my face, pops right open. All right, so everything is up to date on this. Snapdragon 855 plus, no lag. Let's go through the toggles real quick. Let's see, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, since this is a Samsung Galaxy device, it's basically an S10 Plus. So you're gonna have all of your toggles. You got everything. All right, you got your mobile hotspot. You can link it to your windows. You got your different power modes. All right, so if you wanna, if, let me, matter of fact, let me do that again. Let's go to power mode real quick. Let's see, we'll put this on, um, blah, 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 blah. No decrease, we'll leave it on maximum power. All right, so you got medium power saver mode, got performance mode, all your different modes. Now you also got your wireless power share. All right, that's reverse wireless charging. Charge up your Galaxy Buds or charge up a different phone from your phone. You talking about a flex? That's a flex right there. Let's see what else you got. You got your screen recorder, secure folders. All right, that's your thought protection. I'll go over all of that when I do my full review. You got your Dolby Atmos. You got your focus mode. All right, get your life together. Everything is on deck. Let's go to settings real quick for connections. Let's go to uh, let's go to more connections. All right, so you got print in, you got mirror link, you got your VPNs, private DNS. Everything is in the on, uh, in the settings. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Let's see anything we need to check. Okay, you got your sound quality and effects. All right, plug in your headphones, turn in your Adobe Atmos. You got an equalizer. All right, you see I got mine's on scumbag status, but you got all your different modes. You got Adapt Sound, and you also got your separate sound app. So you connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker while you're playing your music. You don't have to worry about your notifications interrupting your song. All right, separate app for sound. That's a nice touch. Let's keep it moving. Notifications, no need to check those out. All right, let's put it on dark mode. Bang, look at that. Okay, you got adaptive brightness. Now you can change your secondary display brightness and your main, uh, your main display brightness. Both of them I got on max. Screen mode, you got natural and vivid. Change the uh, color temperature if you want. Let's see now, if you don't like using the buttons, you can go full screen navigation gestures. I don't like those, but you can do them if you want. Change your buttons, have your back on the left, back on the right, hop and on the left. Accidental touch protections, touch sensitivity, blah, blah, blah. Let's see anything else. You got your themes. Let's go to lock screen, always on display. Now this one actually has a fully functional always on display that you can add a picture if you want. I'll do that later. You got all your face widgets. All right, like I said, I'm trying to make this quick. When I do my full review, I'll go through all of the nitty gritty that y'all need to see. Advanced features. Now you got your smart pop-up. All right, <laughs> now I'll go through that. I don't really, uh, that, that kind of gets on my nerves here and there, but you got it on deck. Motions and gestures, lift to wake, double tap, smart stay, smart alert, easy mute. Got your finger sensor gestures, palm swipe to capture, all your standard Samsung features. Device care. Let's see what it looks like right now. All good, but if you want to, if it wasn't all good, you can optimize it. Uh, let's see, anything else? Accessibility. All right, if you're hearing or visually impaired, you can still rock out. Let's go to digital well-being. All right, monitor your douchebaggeriness online. Keep it to a minimum. That's pretty much it. Android 10. All of the latest features. Matter of fact, let me put one over to the right so we can get a nice swipe. No lag so far. Now let me show you what this flex mode looks like. Matter of fact, even before I do that, something else I wanted to talk about, the UTG. Uh, UTG, ultra thin glass. The feeling that this phone has is totally different 
from something like the razor. Let me pull out the razor one time. You see on the razor, you hear that? This has a plastic feel to it. Now, of course, it's a flexible phone. You already knew what to expect. You're not gonna get that hard Gorilla Glass on the front of your phone, but this one just has a real plastic feel to it. With the UTG, it definitely feels sturdy. Look, no sound, nice and quiet. Now, of course, you feel a little crease. Uh, you're gonna feel a little bit of that crease, and you're actually gonna see it a little bit. Let's open up something that's white. Let's see, let's go to, uh, let's go to Google. Let me see if I can show y'all something that's white. You see, you can actually see it a little bit in the middle, but not much, <laughs> not much. And once you start looking at the phone, it's gonna disappear in about 15 seconds. So you have that nice soft feel to it, but it doesn't feel mushy like plastic. It kind of feels like glass. I like it though, all right, I like it. Let me show you flex mode real quick. Here's flex mode. When you leave your phone on the table like this. Now you can actually put it any angle that you want, any angle that you can get it to stay up. But flex mode is just like this. So now let's open up the uh, camera while it's in flex mode. Okay. Matter of fact, let me uh, exit out of everything real quick. Okay. So here's my camera in flex mode. Now if y'all notice, you see my viewfinder right here and a pad on the bottom. So I say I want to take a quick picture. I take that picture. Let's go to gallery. You see my pictures on the top and the bottom is blank. I'm using that to actually swipe. Now you can use that for YouTube. So you can watch a YouTube video, be on the comments on the bottom. You can use that for your Google Duo. And it's going to be available. It's going to have um, a lot of apps that's going to be available for flex mode as the phone progresses. But as of right now, you're gonna rock this for your camera. Let's switch it around. All right, so say I wanna take a picture. All right, let's switch the angle real quick. Let's do the timer. We'll leave the timer to two seconds. Just like that. Take it over to gallery. Scroll your gallery while your phone is on the table like this. So this is gonna be your flex mode. Basically, you can just leave your phone on the table while it's off. Just rock out like this, or you can rock it close. Fresh out of the box, I am feeling this. I, I love that flip. This is the best feeling flip that I use yet. All right, one hand flip, one hand close. Let's take it over to display real quick. Matter of fact, we'll pull up a YouTube video. I want y'all to see this real quick. And we look at the display and check the speakers. Full screen display, all right? No notch. Look how beautiful that is. One bottom firing speaker, one of my gripes. I wish I had dual speakers, but it is what it is. Now, when you're in your portrait mode, you can sit on the table like this and watch your videos. Bro, this is kind of sick. <laughs> this is kind of sick. And of course, since it's a Samsung phone with the latest processor, well, not the absolute latest, but flagship processor. You got your multi-windows. Matter of fact, I'll show y'all this real quick. You swipe over, open up YouTube, swipe over again. Let's do the internet on the bottom. If we want to, we could, uh, we could split screen it. We put in a little pop-up window. Let's do uh, split screen view. Now I got two split screens open actually. Matter of fact, let me let me let me try something different. Let's do uh, Chrome on the bottom. All right, let me log into my Chrome real quick. Okay, so I got YouTube on the top, Chrome on the bottom. Let's take it over to uh, Samsung. Okay, so we got Samsung on the bottom. YouTube on the top. Okay, there's that flip right there. Got another, another app opened up. Multitasking beast right here. 
Now you can fold it, put it in flex mode, watch your videos while you're shopping on Samsung's website at the same time. Let's click on this Ultra. Let's pre-order one of these real quick. Keep it moving. This is kind of sick right here. This is kind of sick. This is kind of sick. Ooh, look at that display though. This is it right here. Then we hit pause. Flip, <laughs> flip it. Put it back in your pocket. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. You got your World Star Hip Hop button on one side. Press the power button twice. That opens up the camera. Let's check out the different modes. You got single take. You got photos, regular and wide angle. You got video, regular and wide angle. And you got more. So you got pro mode, panorama, food. You got night vision, live focus, live focus video, pro video, super slow motion, regular slow motion, and hyperlapse. Take it over to photos. Let's go to settings. Okay, so rear video size, the max, 4K. Let's go to uh, front video size, the max, 4K. All right, so this is an official camera on deck. All right, so before I get out of here, there's one more thing I wanted to show y'all. Check this out. Let's turn on wireless power share. Okay, we'll close the phone up, put it on the table. We'll grab another phone that has wireless charge. Check that out. This is major flexing right here. Now, just for size comparison, let's open this up. Bang. Here's a Galaxy S10 Plus. And here's your Z Flip. So you see when it's opened, the Z Flip is actually bigger than the Galaxy S10 Plus. Just a little bit more narrow with a different aspect ratio. But it's bigger. Now, here's a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's a little bit more narrow. But you see, it's actually a big phone. So when it's folded, fits right in the palm of your hands. But when you unfold it, it's a full-size Galaxy. This is so sick. And of course, why not? Just for fun, let's open up the, uh, the big boy. And this is what it's going to look like versus your fold and your flex. Now, they do have some dope cases available, but this is one of those phones that I'm probably gonna wanna rock with no case, but on Samsung's website, they do got a nice leather one, so I might check that one out. Boom. Boom. Wireless charge. Like I said, on a scale of one to 10, this is a major, major, major go. I'm already loving it. I'm, or, I'm already obsessed with this, all right? I'm already obsessed. Now, if there's anything y'all want me to cover specifically when I do my full review, leave it in the comment section. But y'all know how I do. All right, we're going to go over everything from top to bottom. We're going to tear it apart from inside to out. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise. Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Enterprise
a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.